Yeah, what? no, to be okay, no, so this is the other thing as well, right? I've thought about this tons, especially from like promoting and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna diss the car scene because it is sick, right? It is sick. <laughs> that but, means you are gonna diss the car. It's like, I'm not racist, yeah, it's like, it's but... like, oh, no offense, but yeah, no. Yes, yes, welcome to Honor Wave, episode two. Episode, episode two. two. So lots of change the last time. Got some proper lights, not gonna run out of battery this time. Look at his hair. Lighter hair, lighter That's, lights, lighter. I, that doesn't mean episode three I gotta dye my hair now, does it? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, fuck. No, I'll do my beard next. Beard. I'll do my eyebrows. Then eyebrows, the eyebrows, eyebrows, yeah. six. It's, it's, it's it. What's going on, man? What's new? I don't know, it's been like, what, four storms now? Five storms? How many storms? 17. Are there gonna be more viruses now? Granted, we've got, more, we've got better lights, but we've got cheaper beer. We've cheaper had to make beer. a sacrifice, cheaper really, beer, haven't we? Right. Yeah. Yeah, storm-wise, what's going on? So, between us recording the first one and the second one, we've had Storm, Dennis... Sarah, Dennis, we've got yeah. George coming up. George, oh, big up George. It, it will perish before it even gets to, to, like, episode three. I know. It will perish. Literally. Mad coverage we're going to have to do. So, who have we got on this one? I'm, to be honest, I'm hyped about this one. Yeah, I I'm don't super gassed. I don't know a lot about Theo. Grant, you're, he's, more like, he's more your mate beforehand. I haven't known yeah. a lot about Theo, but I'm, but, you know, I'm gassed. That's cool, I'm man. Gassed. You've you got to sap him like a tree. Sap him like a tree. Sap him like, like a tree. tree. Matt, should we bring him out? Yeah, let's bring him out. Yes, How's yes. it going, man? You good? What's you good? going on? What's going on? Ex Mr. Undertone. Uh, Father don't, Switchmas. Don't. Don't. Are you, yeah, I'll take the Father Switchmas one, but ex Mr. I like that Father Switchmas. Oh, well, so you, you, I think this boy now. came up with it, though, to be fair, so. No, I didn't. I you did didn't? I thought, did I? Did I? I did write that Facebook thing one time, you know, mm. it was like a massive Christmas song. But that was like, amazing. But changed the switch up, so yeah, maybe, maybe it That's came amazing. There, I don't know. You're but, a uh, poet, mate. Yeah. That's mad. So what's new with you, man? What isn't new with me? That's the question. Um, been a bit of a crazy year so far, to be honest. As you mentioned, ex Mr. Undertone. Mm. Do you have to no, change no. your name on the Facebook page now? Well, funny enough. Is that uh, like when you get married? Funny yeah, enough, I had like a <laughs> Theo Undertone account on Facebook. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like they started sharing stuff about 10 feet tall, which I'm sure we'll get into in a minute. Um, they started sharing stuff about 10 feet tall through that account, even though it wasn't me. Um, and yeah, that, that got confusing. And then slowly but surely, they took Theo away from it, so now it's just Undertone. Oh, that's but, uh, yeah, savage ones, man. Savage so ones. Right, so obviously Nick doesn't really know you very well. So. Who are you? What are you about? What's going on? Uh, so, I am Theo Thomas. I'm from Newport. I moved here to study visual effects and motion graphics in USW, which I've now graduated from. Um, I then fell out of university. Thank you. Fam. All day, all day, all day, all day. <laughs> I, then, uh, I then fell out of university into a job in 10 feet tall slash undertone, courtesy of Mr. Luke Bandy. Big up Bandy. Uh, yeah, big up Bandy. Um, I then worked there for s- three months as Luke's assistant mm. before, before he moved on. Um, and then I t- took over as uh, events manager, branding, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then, yeah, obviously 10 Feet Demised. But um, I also run Card Brand Switch Up, which is technically a multi genre night, but mainly at the moment we're specialising in drum and bass and jungle. Mm. Um, and I'm also Rowdy TT, drum bass DJ. Rowdy TT. Uh, yeah, I think that checks all the boxes pretty much. Oh, T visuals as well. Yeah, I also uh, well. make some videos now. And then. So, yeah. so where did the name Rowdy TT come from? Uh, well, it came from me and my mates in uni being sat there absolutely hammered and spending a very long time trying to come up with a name for me um, and then my mate just came up with Rowdy TT because at the time I was a bit of a a loose guy you could say and, uh, <laughs> I tended to get a bit rowdy so uh, yeah rowdy but it also looks like Audi TT oh. it's a mad piece you know what I didn't even notice like, when, I, when I first saw like your DJ name I didn't even notice it like mm. you know the TT, the Theo Thomas, I was like, yeah, Theo Thomas as well. I forget. Oh yeah, the TT. Oh, you do. Yeah, it's so many, so many levels. So many levels. It is, man. It's ridiculous. So you used to do events in Newport before doing events in Cardiff. I did, yeah. So switch up now. 
I'm sure a lot of people will have heard of it. Um, we do quite well. We've just done an event in vaults. We got one in Kongs. Um, we did Undertone for a good year. Buffalo before that. Um, but yeah. Buffalo. Yeah, R.I.P. Buffalo. Buffalo. R.I.P. Undertone as well. It's, oh, all, yeah, it's all gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's all gone. Yeah, yeah, Everything yeah, yeah. I touch just dies. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, stay away from you guys. Um, but, yeah, uh, before that, before Buffalo, we, funny enough, were literally doing events called Wonky Wednesdays, um, which came from the Wonky Tree brand, which was just like a group of us who were just sort of doing music. Um, Your squad. All respectively, yeah. Um, we did Wonky Wednesdays in one, in one was, like... I, I could not, like, I could not explain it. It was quite literally, like, just your most standard pub. Like, like no, it wasn't even, like, a modern pub. It was literally, like, old man sat on the corner on his fucking bar stool. And, like, we're just in the corner blasting drum and bass and bass line. It was surreal, to be honest. And there are some videos out there of it and it, it it was just crazy like it was we had like 100 people in there one time and there was definitely not enough room for everyone <laughs> like spilling out onto the street but um yeah mad times mad to see how it's grown from that but uh i always knew when we did the first one and it was busy i knew from then like this is this is where i want to be so formula doing. basically which you've been doing yeah. as well for ages mm -hmm. yeah it's literally like um tag why uh, back then it wasn't even tagging names on the wall it was literally free entry and the guy who ran the pub would pay us so oh, um, he probably got a way better deal out of it than we did. It's <laughs> like 50 quid and we probably do like 500 quid on the bar. Mm. But, you know, got to got to start somewhere and that's that's where it was. But yeah, that, it was good times. Like, it was good times. And just starting in my hometown as well. It was uh, it was nice to shame that like I have gone back there and tried events since I played in some of the bigger clubs doing drum and bass since. But just really didn't seem to be much of a market for like anything other than house and techno in the yeah. at the moment which is a shame really but um, I'm sure it'll go full circle eventually what's mad though is that like what I noticed is that all three of us we're not actually from Cardiff but we all live in Cardiff yeah. what's that yeah. about? <laughs> true. 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 true so million dollar question what the F <laughs> what the F in hell happened 10 feet slash under 10 what were we like four, four minutes in like four I knew minutes, this I knew, I knew this uh, uh, well, it's, uh, I find it interesting as well because even today our last guest Nathan Walker <laughs> literally like before you came here you sent me a screen grab of a BBC Wales article with a horrible tagline saying 10 feet tall gone 6 feet under oh, like, but now no. even big yeah no, no. <laughs> Oh, and no. it's going to be turned into restaurants and what and whatever. But literally, oh. that that was an article on BBC Wells today, from like a couple hours ago. <laughs> it just keeps coming. It is the gift that keeps on giving. Quite <laughs> literally, like I mean, it's, it's the new Brexit now. Isn't it, it, it really is. Like, like, it is. Um, so I'll start from the top with this. It's a bit of a long story, but we got time. Um, <laughs> so basically, as I mentioned before, I was working there um, as event manager. Um, I was I was probably doing more than I should have been for the money I was on, but fair enough. I loved the job, I loved the place, whatever. I was doing what I loved. That's fine by me. Um, but things sort of... I'd say November, end of November, um, things sort of took quite a bit of a turn for the worst. Um, the owners and the people above me, they just stopped putting money in. It was quite simple. They just... They didn't care anymore, and you could tell. Like, I was doing events. Um, before Bandy left, he was doing um, events Junction. Um, mm -hmm. That was his brand. Um, it's, it was run internally, um, so basically the venue would fund the event, and they would also take the money from the event. So then, I, like, essentially our day job was to just sort of, like, promote that event. Um, but the biggest thing that I noticed straight away, I knew thing, I knew the way things were going was when Bandy was doing it, they'd given him quite a bit of money to book headliners. They had Slater, another man. Um, he had Jam Thieves booked for December. Oh yeah, that which that then never turned happened. in yeah turned into a switch up booking in the end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that goes on to what I'm about to say. They just wouldn't give us money, so they wouldn't give us money. So I I fronted that from my own pocket in the end and got it for switch up. But yeah, the point is that they just didn't want to fund the events anymore. Um, they just wanted me to put on free raves, um, fifty quid on Facebook advertising. Like you know, yeah, that doesn't do anything. Though, the, no, no. I like since I've been doing it, like it's just gone up and up and up. But um, 
yeah, like they just wanted to get the cheapest DJs who were lucky to ever get paid. Um, I'm sure you'd seen some of the fiascos on Facebook of DJs trying to get paid and equipment wasn't getting paid for. And so I noticed was, the only like couple of times I've been in like ten feet under the sun the last like it's only only in like little bits over the last like year or so. Mm-hmm. That they weren't even like stock. They weren't even having like proper stock there. I remember I was playing in ten feet whilst there was something on below me. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It might have been like a techno night, or I'm pretty sure it was like a jump up night. And Probably. I went to the bar, and Probably. I just wanted a Red Bull. Didn't have any Red Bull, and I was like, oh, "Okay, can I just have one of these beers?" Didn't have any beers, and I was like, mm. "Okay, can I have a gin and tonic? I haven't got any tonic." And I was like, "What the fuck?" Do you know, like on our busy nights, so switch up, resonate, pull up. Um, they were the, probably the biggest three towards the end. Um, it was like a common occurrence by like midnight for us to run out of red stripes. Mm. Run. Like the things that people drink in raves, like, you know, the main ones. But that's the point. Like the, the owners were so ignorant to what was going on down there. Like they wouldn't stock the things we needed. And then like, like I just couldn't understand because it's like we got... 150 people in there all wanted to buy drinks like you could mm. be making more money like what like their thing was they didn't want to spend money on stock you were spending money you spend to make the money yeah like it, it's I, I have so much to say and i re- i really could rip into the people above and like <laughs> i'd love to say a lot more but all you need to know is that they're crooks they don't pay people they don't look after their staff they don't look after their venue and they're liars. That's the biggest thing. Like, all this stuff came out about 10 feet tall. We all left on the basis that our, our GM, so not any of the owners now, our GM, the guy who was essentially running the day-to-day operations, he found out um, that they were planning on sacking off me, um, sacking off the event manager for the Big Top, and they were also planning on sacking off him. So he obviously then came and told us. He was like, mm. this is what they're doing. Um we tried to speak to them and try and turn things around and they kept saying like, oh no, that's not the truth, that's not the truth. Then a bit of concrete evidence came out um, and that was when we decided, right, the only way that we can think of making a stand against this is if we all go at once. If we all go at you once... You all burn it off, basically. Yeah, if we all go at once, they might have to change their ways, they might have to sell it to somebody who does care about mm. the music venue and want to keep music alive um, and also the backlash they were going to get from it was enough and... To be fair, I thought up until the last week it might have worked because they've been posting stuff on their Facebook saying we're going to keep it as a music venue. And to me, a job is a job. As I said, I wasn't getting paid a great deal, but the main thing I wanted to do was keep music in that venue, even if it meant that somebody else had to come in and do the job that I was doing or whatever. I just wanted to keep music in that venue. Um, and we, we, we created a storm, as you said, BBC all over it, like <laughs> yeah. it, it went, it went big, 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 and they started flapping basically, and they started posting stuff mm. like, "Oh no, we are staying as a music venue. We encourage any of the staff to, you know, contact us." So I did. I contacted them. Mm. I said, "Well, if that's the case, if you're staying as a music venue, I'll come back. Like, I'll start, I'll start tomorrow. I've never officially resigned anything. Like, we're just trying to make a stand against what you're doing." Um, and they replied for a bit, and they said, "We'll get back to you tomorrow," and then. Oof, nothing. Just came nothing. And nothing. And still to this day, nothing. I even, I even messaged them about claiming insurance on my camera, which is another story. Oh. Uh, camera got stolen from ten feet tall on the same day that we left. Bit funny that, isn't it? Funny. Mm. I, you know, but Tim hat yeah. goes on. Yeah. yeah <laughs> <laughs> but, it's not a laughing matter though, to be fair, because that's no, a no, pretty it, serious like. Yeah, it is peak, and I I contacted them about claiming it through their company insurance as well. Again, aired me. So if you need to know what type of people they are. You just got to think, I lost my job on the same day that I lost my camera and they didn't want to help me. That's all, all you really need to know about the people at Tesla. Well, it's just, or... it's just, you can just see it's just testament to how much they were trying to squeeze money out. Oh, yeah. To so even, like, steal your camera. Mm-hmm. Steal your camera that was left there is, like, pretty pathetic at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Compared to, like, the money they could be making if they run it properly rather than, like, selling well, your camera. Well, I can't <laughs> imagine, like, what are they like, going to do with it? The <laughs> most annoying thing about it is, like, we'd spent... The, the previous month before this happening, um, building like a rebrand for them. I don't know if you noticed, but the 10 feet tall logo changed. Um, we worked on a new 10 feet tall logo. And we like the website a, was yeah, changing. Yeah, we did a new website. It was already done. It was all up. Um, it, 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 all of this happened the week before we all left. Um, we, we had a new logo for them, new website, um, new marketing strategy. We had a marketing girl come in who used to work at Goody Who. She was doing amazing bits with us as well. 
Um, we literally had a full marketing plan for the next six months of how we were going to turn it around and get it back into being a successful venue again. We had a photo booth just installed. Like oh, yeah, did you see that? They're like club style ones. Yeah, yeah. The the ones, yeah, clubs and Kong. Yeah, yeah, literally that. Um, we had all these things. Like, we had so many gigs planned. I had so many plans for Undertone, how we were going to essentially clean it up a bit. Um, not so you, just... gave, you gave it a paint, didn't you? Like yeah, a... yeah, so we gave it a over, paint. So... Um, we were going to get graffiti artists down there. Cute little. Like, Little, I was thinking the paint, and then I could only imagine yeah. in the toilet where there's the hole. <laughs> I tell you, we put we put a new toilet door. We put a new toilet door on. Lo and behold, jump up night, somebody punched it through. Oh, is that? Oh, oh, literally, you put a new door on. Straight away, the jump up crew in there. Bah. Well, to be fair, over over like the period of, like obviously Unturned's been open, it has been completely wrecked several times. Oh yeah. Like say when when you and uh, Bandy were there, like. Was it a switch up night where like the actual um, the barrier the barrier got I was in my set I was in my set was in your set oh my (laughs) did she like (laughs) unsay she invoice you then to be fair (laughs) (laughs) no we I know the guy who did it um, and I wasn't working there at the time but basically like we were doing a set he got really gassed it was like quite a big like rugby lad and he just ripped that front barrier I was going to say surely like you need a bit of force to like oh there's probably like a couple of months of like yeah, probably, so probably been like, trying it. Yeah. It's like you've seen like a jam jar, basically. There's like, actually a it's video that, like on bit. the Switch Up page, and you can hear the barrier getting oh, ripped out. Like, you just hear this big rip. But then, like, a couple of weeks later, the same guy ripped... There used to be, like, a sort of emergency light on the ceiling, just above where the decks used to be. And he ripped that off the ceiling as well. So, like, I wasn't <laughs> what working there the afterwards. Like, you just... So I just messaged him. I was like, bruv, like... Come on, man! No, <laughs> <you> stop <laughs> really it off. Off one venue. venue, like I don't want to get you banned, but like, like, please, man, like, just, just tone it down a little bit. And to be fair, he did after that. But yeah, that that place took a battering. But we, we had a plan for it, and it would have worked. So was there like a specific like catalyst that was like that made them want to change strategy and go like, oh, we want to actually like f all this off? Yeah. So what what was the what do you reckon was the actual like catalyst? You can you're gonna laugh at this one. Like, oh, this this is this is funny. Yeah. This is how clueless they are, right? So opposite the botanist is opening, right? Yeah. Um so they decided, um, instead of being a cool music venue that people can like stumble out of the, the botanist and go into and listen to some good music, good DJs, you know, three floors of different genres, which mm. is what we wanted to go for. Instead they thought, I know, let's turn us into exactly the same as the botanist, but not as good. <laughs> because obviously there'll be people here already going to the botanist, so they, they might come to us as well. Like, well, they're just gonna stay in the botanist. <laughs> that's why it exactly needs to be. That's, that's why it needs to be like a difference. Otherwise, it's like a spoons with house plants next to another spoons with house plants. Exactly. <laughs> well, you know what I think as well, in terms of like the closest venues for that, you've got you got Kongs, which is sort of a street down, and then you've got like One B Street, which has got like different clubs mm-hmm. and stuff. But like in that space, like there's literally just restaurants. Yeah. And like, and like what, spoons or whatever. It's like, just like... I, I get their thought process behind it. Like, as businessmen who don't, like, necessarily understand the industry. Because yeah. I don't think that's wrong of me to say. These guys, they're literally, they just cash. They don't have any insight well, that's into what how we the said, industry That's what works. we said last week, isn't it? When we were touching upon, like, like sort of the grocery yeah. venues and stuff. Mm-hmm. We were talking about the fact of, like, the owners and stuff. Like, probably have no clue. And you were saying, like, they've probably gone down... Yeah, like, like to really, be fair, on like the a person night who, and they like, probably give a shit about it. Basically. Yeah, the person who probably actually owns the venue just sees that the amount of turnover it's making in comparison. Mm-hmm. So I know. So let's say the botanist, for example. Uh, botanist, I think it was the last weekend. Like on one of their days, made something like twenty nine grand. Whereas, like on just like one day now. So and then compared to what like undertone ten feet and big top. Say there was like mm-hmm. a house party. The house yeah. party was a multi room thing probably wouldn't make the same in comparison but that's definitely not. but it's like trying to put like two diff two totally different types of things together you can't compare you can't compare them mm-hmm. whereas that's supposed to attract like your rugby crowds yeah any people who like want to you know dress up in like a supply teachers <laughs> spend a little spend a little bit of the yeah. admiral money and this that and the other yeah, yeah, whereas yeah. To, it's completely different to like a music venue which is like heritage that's been here for like years and mm-hmm. is putting on artists that's mad. So, Good say now, so we had this we had this little discussion last week, but like, granted, the undertone's gone. Mm-hmm. Do you think Cardiff, like, particularly needs everything? Because granted, over the years, venues come and go, right? Mm-hmm. So now we've lost a venue, that a smaller cap venue to let 
that would be like sort of like the stepping stones. So if you want to be a promoter, if you want to do something a little bit more interesting, if you want to book an artist, there's a bit a little, a little bit, bit more like freedom in terms of budget and stuff. Yeah, so it gives you a little bit more risk. Yeah. yeah. So do you reckon Cardiff needs anything in particular? Because it, it, then you look, you've got Kongs, yeah. which you're promoting there now, mm-hmm. which is a bit spenny because they haven't got a sound system and like various other factors. They do have a sound oh, system yeah. though. They, they do, do have a sound yeah, system. But that's now. why the well, like two years later. Yeah. And then, and then, um, and then, Moon? 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 <laughs> they do stuff. Moon? They do stuff. I don't know. I don't know. They do, uh, they they do, do stuff. stuff. I can't knock Moon. They do, they do good stuff for the grass. But then, music and then you got Club, which like, Unless you book big and then you make like a little well, bit yeah. of money, it's there's not a lot. There's not a lot of the budget. Yeah. You've got to do yeah. well. If you're in the club, you've got to do well. You got to perform. So mm. yeah. yeah. So um, so does Cardiff need something which is like smaller? Does it need something to more or less to replace on the so, tone, or is it going to be okay? Basically? So my opinion, um, my opinion is, I think, particularly for drum and bass, losing undertone may have actually aided it, um, in the sense of. I feel like the scene was getting very, very saturated. Um, mm. There was a lot of people um, doing events just to try and make a quick buck. And there was also a lot of people l- trying to do yeah. it. For me, as like, not necessarily an outsider, but, but um, as I don't really promote that much in Cardiff anymore, mm-hmm. doing stuff with James, so doing bigger stuff, we only do stuff that makes that makes look like better money, really. Yeah, basically. And, um, and but... Uh, go on, go on. What is it? Why is it not working for it, me? Just shoot it. This is. I oh, said in the last episode, no. I'm not allowed to use it. Oh, it's oh, jam, jam, jam. It's jam. R.O.P. 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 Right, so we're not making any money today then. Boys, I've lost. What's my tennis on then? From an outsider. From an outsider. Yeah, yeah, that was it. It got to a point where both of you were doing all of the all of the artwork for the events and undertone, so they all kind of looked like a little mishmash of the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so because yeah, that's the thing, because our sort of design is pretty similar anyway. Yeah, yeah so. it is. So, sometimes people will message me and be like, did you do that? Or was that Ross's? Like, Bad yeah. people keep asking me that, and it's like, nah, I'll steal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be no, honest, no, 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 you'd be like, nah, that that's was another Ross. Big and you'd be like, nah, that was steal. <laughs> Spider Man meme, where you just like yeah, point in yeah, it. Yeah, literally. Like, <laughs> it's a piece of artwork in the middle. There's two designers in Cardiff, basically. Yeah. So. There's this bracket of sort of nights that have been around maybe a little bit less time than switch up nights like pull up and resonate um roll safe's another one they're sort of like uh what's pull up pull up is another drum bass line i don't know yeah. uh, no, they, they're good they're, they're more on the jump yeah if you, i just think no i'd switch well, you up and then pull up and there's like how many ups you could have guessed and got it right straight away you got like, team up just a level dmb night yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but yeah you got that level that sort of like Maybe where Switch Up was a year and a half ago, um, and they're tending to do stuff in locos now. Um, so, yeah, it's difficult to say whether we do need it. It depends how locos goes, really, because locos is literally a bar and Latin grin that, a grill that they put a sound system in. Um, Cause, yeah, because I remember a couple of my friends used to promote in, it was Coco. Coco, yeah, it was Coco Gorillas before. Yeah. I remember playing in it, and it was, I remember, I don't know what it looks like now, but I remember like a couple of years ago. It looked like, say when you go to an assembly in school, right? And you're like sat down, you're going to do hymns or like you sit and do whatever. All the walls looked like they had carpet, like stapled to the walls. But there was a stage and they just put a sound system in there. <laughs> you, you, when you played there, it's it like may have been like, well, they, apparently what they used to have, I never went there. But apparently like upstairs is now flats. Um, oh yeah, that that's used what it to was. Be the venue. Yeah, that used so, to be the venue. So now. Oh, it's, it's downstairs. Yeah, in the, like the oh. restaurant bit. So like they have they have like so you get a little Nando's vibe yeah very much oh. so it, it's like a peri- <laughs> peri- chicken grill like it's mad and they just put a sound system in there and you've got like the the kitchen vents and the ceiling like it's you get to choose how spicy you want it when you get in yeah yeah when yeah, you yeah, get yeah. in well, you, you choose extra spicy you get like just, Ming and jumper <laughs> <laughs> to be honest ready, just fresh to order basically lemon and herb you'll have a cute disco night but you should yeah. Yeah, have you ever done like an event where they actually also do food because that would be amazing. I reckon if they did that, I like, bare people would, like, just order wings well, and stuff. you just put it out there on a public oh, no. domain now. But then you so, do yeah. that. You Your do. unique <laughs> idea has just been Come on. taken. Like, <laughs> you do go. that on the jump Yeah, but only a though. certain amount of And then rather than that. your your friend, like, ripping up the freaking barrier and ripping the light off, you'd be throwing <laughs> wings. Can you imagine the mess, like, just all the... Oh, Well, you could allow him to cook All the jump out kids, like, just slobbering over a chicken leg, like... See, you get... Do you know, like, when you see their kid and they've gone to, like, their first rave and they've been battering it they've been there from 10 o'clock <laughs> they're already stinking by 11 and you see them at the end and, and, and they're like have you had a good night mate you're like yeah 
I fucking love that. So that, but covered in sauce as well. <laughs> and just like when we able to talk, because like they actually like they they ordered super hot wings because they were pissed as well. Yeah, like, like, dribbling, dribbling. Can I can I uh, steal a sauce? Re up. Re up. The last Woo. one's uh, the most tastiest as well. I have heard that. I have heard that. I was trying to think of a funny soul pun, but. Enough, there's so no I'm there's good. no puns of soul it's very serious a very serious drink very serious drink very serious drink I'm still trying to think of them I just, so I since I just know. since you're not working with Andy now how is it like working with Andy was he Batman were you Robin oh, yeah let's say yeah, now he's gone team. <laughs> oh how I miss Bandy how we all Let, miss let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's just do a heartfelt tribute episode to Bandy yeah can we just do a five minute of uh, Bandy appreciation yeah so, and like I think we'd have to say Brighton like 20 times though. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and he'd have to talk about Keep Hush a lot because uh, he does love his Keep Hush. He does love his Keep Hush. You're right. Uh, yeah. He does. He does. But uh, if you're watching, shout out Bandy. We miss Free you. Free Bandy. Out. I'm sure he's watching. What else you got to do in Brighton? Come visit what's it, what else you got to do in Brighton? Do you mean? We should, we should go visit him in Brighton to be fair. Like, there's plenty of good events maybe. going on up there. Yeah, they've like, actually, keep Hush or something, I don't know. Yeah, they've, <laughs> they've actually got They've actually got They've actually got, got Oh, you're wearing it. Is it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's wearing it. Big up Andy. Big up Andy. They actually have a scene for music that isn't drum bass in Brighton like you can actually put on a 140 night and people will come so yeah no to be crazy. okay no so this is the other thing as well right I thought about this tons especially from like promoting and stuff mm-hmm. and I'm not gonna diss the car scene because it is sick right it is sick <laughs> that means you are gonna diss the car it's like I'm not racist yeah, it's like, it's but... like, oh no offence <laughs> yeah no but it is so predominantly d and which in the last episode is healthy, which is good, because, like, it's amazing. But... You've got to say that, man. There is literally, sat, like... Compared, here with, uh, yeah, but compared to other cities, there's literally not as much of a variety for underground music. Mm-hmm. Maybe House of Techno... Do- well, House of Techno does well, but it does everywhere. But, like... Baseline does well, as well. well like, uh, not but here, like, though. It's, not really. It's it got to be, like, to. the elite tier baseline. Oh, well, oh, the thing okay, is... Okay, okay, yeah, if it's got a like, name behind it... The baseline wave has well and truly crashed. Mm-hmm. It, cra- it crashed, oh, yeah. and it's been, it's been on the tumble for a while. It's but now it's gotten crazy. to the point where, like, all the people that were big in baseline now, and now their fees are, like, multiple grand, so they're hard to buck in, like, smaller venues now. <laughs> and the amount of people they're bringing are smaller now because you've yeah. seen them like four or five, you know, yeah. s- so many times. Which is why you've got um, an event or you've got a night so, called, yeah, baseline. Just, called, it's called Baseline. Called Baseline. <laughs> and but you only do d now, basically. Yeah. So what's going yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, can we, uh, can I, uh, question for you? Because I'm Go like, I, oh, you, you get it on the all the posts. <laughs> you get it on all the posts. Why is it called Baseline? Well, Which basically, when we started it, we needed, I mean, I know the answer. We needed a brand that was sort of, that was essentially for that sort of thing. And we, when we looked, like, on the face value, we, we did it, like, super quickly. And we were thinking, like, all the grands that... All the, all the grands? All the brands that basically say what they are, mm-hmm. do the best. So Bump yeah. and Grinds, that's freaking hip-hop. Yeah. And then you've got... Um, I can't think Bedlam. of the top of my head. It's Bedlam. Bedlam. It's Bedlam. Well, it's Bedlam. Bedlam. Bedlam's Bedlam, anyway. But all the brands that pretty much say exactly what they are... Yeah. Do do the easiest rather than getting some night that has like some mad like super switch intricate up. name. Switch up, switch, switch up, up you get it. Pull up, up pull up. I guess it. that's not going to be disco. Yeah, and stuff like that. <laughs> they do they do the rest. So that was it, and it was just basically just keep like hush, ripping off. Just stands there in silence. Like, keep, you know, keep, hush, keep, keep silence. Keep silence. Yeah. Right. So we had a question last week, and we're going to ask you as well. UKG or DMB? I think I know this one. Yeah, I know <laughs> as well. But... Oh, that's a toughie. Now, to be fair, like. When I started DJing, I was all UKG 140 and Grime, uh, mm-hmm. but then DMB came along and swept my soul away. I'm not gonna lie. Swept my soul away. It took me oh. on a journey, and <laughs> it's got journey. my heart. It's got my bollocks. It's got Ooh. every part of me. I love drum and bass. So yeah, heart and your bollocks. Are obviously, the two which you mentioned, the most important part. Exactly, of man. Because I want to yeah. fuck it, and I also want to make love to it. So oh. like, oh, amazing. Do you get, me? Like, do you get me? Amazing. But uh, yeah, drum and bass man. But I do have a massive soft spot for UKG. Not so much like the sort of old school sort of poppy stuff, but like the more like dirty bassliney kind of wobbly mm. sort of kiwi. Yeah. New wave, new wave, yeah, 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 yeah like new wave royalty stuff. kind of sort of oh, a little so bit more grimy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah but royalty does go though. Butters, 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 but
It is weird, man. Well, you, you say that. Do you know what the easiest way for me to describe it is? I like UKG opposed to Garage because, like, I know that sounds stupid, but like, okay. I mean, it's exactly like, the same gap. That's like, interesting. That's I, interesting. I know. That's it, interesting. I know. I, know I sort of thing. know what you mean. I know though. it. I know it is the same thing. But like all these trendy artists who make the kind of stuff that I like call it UKG opposed to like the old school guys who will call it. Okay, no, that's fair. So like, yeah, yeah, I know it's the same thing, but like. Like UKG. Well, it's like it's like N UKG. Sort of UKG. It's like new UKG yeah, waves yeah, yeah. sort of stuff. That's mm-hmm. mad. That's mad. Also, fish or chips? Well. Oh shit. Well, to be fair, like I'm weird with fish, so I'm gonna say chips because. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you fish? weird with fish? Do they not get along with you on that? Nah, the thing with fish, right, is like I don't like fishy fish. I only like fish that doesn't taste like fish. Does that make sense? I so mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so like, cod to me doesn't taste like fish. Uh, I, mean, I kind of get it. Okay, well, like, like, like cod, cod is more. Do you mean like? Do you mean like any fish which doesn't smell like seafood? Fish? I should say like seafoody, like <laughs> just, yeah, like anything that smells like disco fanny. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. That's mad. What mad name for a night though? Just disco, disco, disco fanny. Disco fanny. Thing yes. is, what do you think it is straight away? What? So as I, no, as I was saying earlier, oh, right, right, the brands, right. the brands straight, that like, like what is straight away. Oh, well, Disco Fanny, what is it? Like, what genre? Just like a load of gentlemen's, chicks gentlemen's club. Scatty, scatty chicks. Gen- gentlemen's club. <laughs> straight away, but disco music. Nice. nice. So wait, I, I swear, didn't you put on a 99p rave? I did. I did want it. Yeah, didn't I, right. did, I did. Oh, I did. Oh, 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 I did. I did. I did. I know where this is going. I know where this is going. I did. I did want to pick it up. I didn't know if it was like a personal attack. <laughs> because basically, right, I used to do Scan Ground, which is the du- basically just the cheapest night going. But I had a little thing going where, like, a gap in the market where it's a one pound rave, their people came, whatever, right? And then out of the blue, like, you did, you're doing a switch up at the same time, right? Okay. And then I see on my feed, I was like, I was, I was, uh, I was just, I think I was just in the pub with it, and I, was, I just saw my feed. Switch up, 99p rave. What's going on then? What's going on? <laughs> Cut me off Bless by a, pa- by, a, by a penny. <laughs> <laughs> knocking me out. So uh, I, wa- just, I wanted to know what's, what this is all about. If it's a personal attack you were the, me, but... You were the pioneer. I thought it was a great idea. Um, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> I think you're a great guy, Ross. <laughs> I like this like typical politician oh, yeah. media answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love everything you do. Um, and yeah, it's just seeing me. That's fine. We don't have to talk about it anymore. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. So if, I'm, um, I'm fine. I'm fine. It, it's I'm it's fine. not a personal attack. I'm fine. fine. Just look at it as. Uh, we'll put it this way Switch Up is still going strong, doing what you're doing, and Scan Ground is buried under everything. Scan. Bro, Scan Ground should come back. Scan Ground was great. It should come back. I don't even know why you ever work. stopped Scan Ground. Back to what you were No, s- I stopped doing Scan Ground because I. Dis- I just dislike Jump Up now. I just I just couldn't stand it. And that's, that's the base of the audience. Yeah, but you could have turned it into something. Like, Switch Up used to be yeah. Jump Up now. It's not so Jump Up, so... Yeah, but Switch Up had a little bit more versatility with it because Scan Ground was very much just one pound rave. That's what it was. Yeah, and I suppose. With, I w- I've had things like, do I just bring it back with just, like, regular D&B stuff? Like, more sort of neutral D&B. Um, and I was like, well, I could do... But I, since, I think, since like Undertone's closed down and all that sort of shit, it's like, where else am I going to do it for like a pound? Do you know I, mean? I suppose, but you could have grown it into something better. Again, like what we were talking yeah. about, Skank Ground. It had its is, little niche though. It does what it mean? says on the tin, like. Yeah. It was a Skank Ground. Yeah, in terms of the it name, very much yeah. was. I remember I did yeah. a, vi- um, a bit of videography for you once and I have like the maddest piece of footage like I've ever seen in Undertone. Like, that is dropped, like my uh, most favourite. Like, we'll get that clip up and I'll, I'll put it on there. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but like mad. that was my f- most favorite time of DJing ever. It was mad, and I think it was also because Harvey Actic, um, <laughs> he just made it. He made the video as well. Yeah, he's just going the crowd, mad. The crowd was. He's, he's a really tall dude, right? Yeah, and he's always going half. He's just you can going see him out of like a mile, oh, like, like hundreds of people. You can real, see him. He's the rave MVP. This like, is why he's just I continuously mad. book him because like he brings that energy. To yeah, the yeah, set. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it translates. Like, to if you're doing music. a jump up night at any point. 
give that man a set because <laughs> honest to god he brings an MG like I've not seen like, he always has a mad intro a yeah, different intro every single time yeah, as well like it, that's his thing I mean, like he always likes to have a mad in- intro even if like, he's on like an opening set he would still be like and they would like yeah. cut it into like three different things and it's yeah, like he's, he's, he's top <laughs> 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 you know I mean? if, you, if you're into your sort of like choppy sort of fast mixing like he's the guy in Cardiff to be fair but yeah he made that video because he is just going for it but yeah that was a sick piece of footage definitely dig that out because that's testament to what undertone was at one point like, that's the thing as well yeah point. i forget that like it holds so many different like i don't know some great memories, memories yeah. yeah yeah for everyone like I, d- I think everybody who went to undertone yeah all right they may have had some really bad times there but i think if you've been to undertone more than once you've n- most people have had a good time there like mm-hmm. Even if the toilets are flooded and your shoes got uh, stained with toilet I, I have not been there when the toilets are flooded. Uh, you, you no, 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 no I'm not, but it just reminded me of that fucking door, like, <laughs> door. It's like, I always went, like, if I need to go for a shit ride, I'd always go up into 10 feet because I was like, I'm not, there's no way that, like, I'm going to be going into, like, that toilet where, like, someone can just poke their face around or if someone, like, asks, like, I would literally poke my head around on the toilet seat and it's mad. No privacy, man. What's going on? Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was a mess, but it was home. It was home. <laughs> Cut so deep. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think uh, I think the the music scene in Cardiff is on the up as a whole. Mm. Um, I think spirits are well, high. Back to what you were saying earlier. Like, say for example, in Brighton, you can have like so many different genres, sort of like coexisting. Mm-hmm. Whereas here, mm-hmm. you've got like jump up. The odd baseline night every now and again. There's a lot of a lot of darker mineral DMB and stuff though, to be fair going on at the moment. Yeah, like Empire Well it's just like a couple of weeks ago. That was mad. Mm. Uh, to be honest, that's a good thing to talk about how over the past six months D B scene has evolved. It has massively. There's, there's like, not as much to when, jump But there's like nothing else. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. There's yeah, not yeah, like yeah. a Swamp Bitty One sort of vibe. There's not a one forty vibe. There's not a garage vibe. I think one forty's coming. Um but Where in the post? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> delivery, delivery time, estimated delivery about four to five months. Oh, my hammy's like. uh, bringing it and they got lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lost, <laughs> yeah, lost in the post. Don't basically. give up. For a while, I did tremor with um, with OCG George. Not Storm George, by the way, just George. And basically, like, we. <laughs> yeah, it's Storm Yeah, we had. Uh, <laughs> Tommy's so long. He <laughs> does create a storm on a deck sometimes. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, so there you go. Big up, George. <laughs> but basically, like, we did Tremor for a while, and, like, we did pretty well, because we were, like, we started after Submerge ended, basically. And then we Submerge, did... like, done, gone. Yeah, yeah, we go into detail about that. It's not in that deep, yeah, like, yeah. people need to know it's dead now, anyway, so. <laughs> But basically, like, <laughs> that happens. No, 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 but, like, it was sick. No, no, it was sick. It was sick, but, like, then we did Tremor, and we did pretty well, but it was just sort of, like, there was always one night, which is good. There was always, like, one night of 140. I sort of feel as though, because there's less of the, like, an audience for it, if there were like multiple nights going on, I don't know how much that would help in terms of that scene because yeah. the audience would be split, be more competitive, or it would actually help because there's more going on at the I time. I think this is what I'm saying. I think if, if somebody come along now, and it has to be the right venue for 140, yeah. Undertone kind of worked for it, but maybe the sound system wasn't quite wasn't quite heavy enough. Yeah. Um, but like, if you put on like, a massive 140 night in like vaults, maybe Kongs, maybe Club. Specifically Vaults, I think. Vault suits it. If somebody came along and put on a massive 140 lineup in there and they actually spent a good bit of money on promoting it, like I think it could work. And I think that's a lot a lot of it as well. I think a lot of promoters don't realise how much you actually need to spend on yeah. promoting your event for it to be a big a big hit. Like. But that's the point I was trying to make earlier. Now that Undertow's gone, unless you go hard, unless you go hard in the paint, then nights aren't gonna work. But then it's also you pigeonhole you pigeonhole yourself into becoming a night that only works if you book artists. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then it gets to a point where you spent like I don't know a couple of grand on an artist. You do that a couple of times, and then when it comes to like being like a date that's not so good, and you want to do a residence night, mm-hmm. you do it and it will just bomb. I yeah. think that's where Switch Up is this Saturday, um, because you got Canopy on Friday, um, which is like a big event in vaults. And then we're the next day with a slightly smaller headliner. Um, so, like, my, my strategy still is and always will be with Switch Up is to provide cheaper nights with smaller headliners. 
Nej, nej, nej. Nej, nej, nej. Nej, det er ikke. Nej, nej, nej. 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 Uh, go on, bring it. Up. Go on, grab your phone. Grab your phone. How would you? How would you? Uh, how would you find it? When it's very, would you go straight onto like up. Chrome or the browser. You oh, know? what? And go through history, is it? Like, what oh, was the last thing you searched on your phone? See, I'm, I'm sweating. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Skiddle dashboard promotion center. Uh, how boring. Uh, wow. Amazon.co.uk and Pirate Studios. I feel like that's. You know, when you said Skiddle, for some reason I forgot Skiddle. I thought you meant Skittles. And I'm so sick. I love like Skittles so boring, promotion center. So I was hoping, like, every now and again, you get something honky. Yeah. Uh, You've got to wait, basically. To be honest, I'm just, disappointed as well. We've just got to ask every episode, and then, like, eventually, eventually yeah. we'll get I mean, my, my <laughs> <laughs> one of mine is. Hey, Hachi Mishima. <laughs> From Tekken. That's mine. Right, let's get... Let's Context, get man. So, yeah, we'll have to get that up. Why, get that, like, why are you The main that? reason is... Uh, one, of my, one of my friends sent me... Erica Badu has just released... Uh, she's released, like, a load of, like, clothes and stuff. For some reason, she's selling socks for, like, 80 quid and that. And her perfume or her, her incense called Badu Pussy sold out instantly. And then I was looking. She's selling clogs... And I was like, rah, these look like Hihachi Mishima. <laughs> like, I kind of want it in them. What, so the same... shoes look like... Yeah, no, they're the same ones. They're called Geta, the massive clog things. Oh, you're like... a sucker oh, for, like, you're a sucker for, like, sliders look like his stuff. face. And I was just picturing oh. these shoes and, like, his hair. Oh, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so I was thinking, because I always have sliders here, I was like, rah. You, you mean, all like, you lot could so have the sliders. Players. And then I rock up and he's, like, massive Hihachi Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have yeah, a new yeah, sliders yeah. and then you have a Supreme yeah. chair. Get up, man. Like, look, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. I can't get up. I can't get up. The height. Look at that. So look at that. <laughs> the height. The height. We got. You just got. So on that on that note, we did want to ask for you to to bring something like to talk about or something hype beasty. So I'm like I'm really I'm a sucker for this hype beast culture. This is why I have this shit. This is why baseline looks like a supreme logo, and such forth. What did I do with those shoes? I did bring them out here, didn't I? Oh, oh yes. Here we go. Is uh. So this is the crap top of This is the this is the awkward crap check. <laughs> right. So like they didn't, they didn't. Well, Ross didn't actually specify that I needed to bring something hype beasty. So uh, we just that's, gonna, my, hey, that's my fault. Yeah, that's my it's, fault. It's, that's my it fault. is your fault, man. Um, fault. But we're just gonna go with these uh, beautiful shoes. Um, I, I, I don't, back, I don't really know much oh. about them. Other so than what, the what is this colorway? Uh, Do you know, know the colour? You don't know. Like, we'll we'll work out the name of the colour. Sort of, I don't know, but they got pink, they got like, blue, is that the and if you shine in the light, they like Arisen. change colour. That's pearlescent. Pearlescent. Iridescent. Yeah, I don't know. Sick. Sick. They're, they're probably my uh, finest pair of shoes. Fine. And I haven't seen them anywhere. Um, well, you got, got them in America. America. Yeah, America. yeah, my dad brought them back from America. Oh, he goes like, over there a few times, so I just ask him to like, grab me a pair of wavy shoes when he goes over wavy there. Shoes, like, wavy shoes, yeah. So he yeah. saw the most molly yeah, yeah, yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. Wave, <laughs> bring, me a wave, bring the wavy, wavy, wavy shoes. Yeah. Yeah, wavy well, garments. On a wave. He's got it down to a T, to be fair. I think he's a low key hype beast himself. Sick. Like. He's actually reselling. Yeah. He's reselling. Yeah. That's probably what To be fair, he probably bought the better pair. He sold them and he's like, oh, I'll just give it to For the ones who were wearing something around America. I stupidly wore these to a rave the other day. So they're like not looking as good as they were. Like look, you can see the stickiness oh, on them by there. But um, it is what it is. Oh, I might as well throw them out then. Never, it? never learn. It's not as bad as if you brought them to Anderton. Oh mate, I've done that a million and like, times, and it's just it's just game like, over. One time, <laughs> done. <laughs> done. Talking about your actual mystery item which you brought along though. Do you want to do you want to okay. show us and yeah, tell so us a little bit? My actual mystery item is this piece of rock, which is from. Um, the Outlook Festival opening concert. Oh man! Yeah, um, I went to Outlook Festival in September, mm. and I was absolutely hammered on the way out. And I found a piece of rock and put it swiftly in my pocket. Nice. <laughs> There's not really much else to say about it. It's just that's, that's all the way, all the way from Croatia. Yeah, all the way from Croatia, and it's probably like a thousand. I don't know how how old was that amphitheatre thing, Colosseum thing, probably. Old, like they don't use it. Oh, what mm. is it? The last is it the last yeah. year this time, anyway? It was the last one, it was the last year, yeah. That's yeah. why I grabbed it. But, like, it's oh, just what, the, that's no the last piece of it, yeah. It's the last, <laughs> it's the last time, but yeah, that was a sick night. So, I don't even remember people playing music. Pressing was that the, was that the one where there was like mad storms, or was that no, the year before? We, we were the year after. Um, there was mad storms while I was at Outlook, was that storm, 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 storm George, Storm Dennis, Storm George, some like. 
I don't know any Croatian names. Yeah, to be fair, like this show is just talking about storms. All the time. <laughs> yeah. We should be like a weather forecast or something. <laughs> yeah, like, like, like a wave well. weather forecast. Or something. Well, every time we've gone to do it, there's been a storm. Every yeah, exactly. Time. It's true. What, it's true. There's another storm coming today. I heard you say earlier. No, it's, week, it's, it's this weekend. This weekend, yeah. it's oh, George. Really? This weekend. It's, it's uh, Storm George. Yeah, Big Storm George. George. Oh, not, not so I think our next guest has to be George. No, sorry. <laughs> it, might, George. it might have to be George. You just come in like. Comes in on a wave. On a wave. Oh my! What are we doing? What are we doing? Got to lock, boys. Fair play. You cannot tell this is the second episode. Oh, it's mad. Look, look at that. You got your inside jokes already. Like it's mad. It's sorted. It's my, to be fair though, the two items which over two episodes which have happened now have been pretty similar. In They've both of, been like, like a theme going from on. the beach, yeah. sort of from the beach. From the uh, beach. One of our friends he brought, um, <laughs> he was themed brought, items. He brought um, what looked like a, sh- it was like a shell from a war or something, no. something from a war, but beach yeah. coming. But also so. Literally from the floor, though. <laughs> Two oh, items yeah. that have just been picked Maybe up Maybe that should be it. It's got to be an item that you found on the floor. <laughs> found on it's the just floor. like, yeah. It's it more unique, yeah. It's just a different type of rock. And then once you've done season one, next season will be like items you found in the bin. And <laughs> you just keep amazing. going. Yeah. And, and, then, no, and then we bring Bandy on. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can just bring his entire record. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Oh. Uh, Brighton. Oh. So it's, this has been sick. So what yeah, you got coming up? What you got coming up? Uh, so assuming this is going to be released after the events that are coming up this weekend, which um, it will because we're long. They said it. Um, <laughs> so I got technically like in the past time section Terminator stuff. This is this weekend <laughs> is Canopy in vaults, which is going to be sick. Souped up, one of the biggest lineups I've seen in a long time. I'll be there in room two, pressing some buttons and stuff. And then Saturday is switch up, big old switch up. We've got Furnace coming down and the Incurden, Incurden? He's going to kill me for messing that. Incursion Audio Gang, who, to be fair... We're not even going to cut that out either. Absolutely so. <laughs> killing it recently. Um, yeah, so that is on Saturday. And then following that next month, maybe back in vaults, maybe. Maybe. Nice. Fingers crossed. Nice. See. If everything goes to plan on Saturday and we don't, Bankrupt ourselves, which mm. probably won't, to be fair. But uh, you know, I mean, father switch. If you say really... a storm is coming in this weekend, oh. that's not good for us. But um, yeah, but oh, like, question is, are you, are you allowed in in tracksuits? I don't know actually. <laughs> are you allowed oh. into Kongs in tracksuits? To be know. fair, like literally every time we go into Kongs, they didn't even bother checking my ID, so I think you're right. Yeah, to be <laughs> fair, it's pretty pretty lax at the moment until some. I know, like, guess himself lost some years now with that. That's true, actually, yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Do you yeah, mean lost years or gained years? Because I saw Phil was... When I first did this, I was like, oh, my God. It was, like, fully white on the sides. I was like, Philip Schofield vibes and that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I was like, I thought I was going to be like... I came out and I was like, I look well old. Philip Schofield vibes and that. <laughs> I thought, well, I, thought yeah, I was, like, well old. I, I thought I aged, like, a good, like, 30 years. At least. But I'm good now. I'm fine. I'm yeah, cool it looks good, it, man. So. It does look good. Like not a lot of people can pull that off, but I think. I like it. Yeah. Are you having a man bun as well it's, before? It's like a sick gradient. Great. <laughs> gradient. It's the wrong way it's around though. It's the wrong way around as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the wrong way around though because basically my eyebrows are darker than my beard, so it should be the other way around. Do you know what I mean? So it's oh, like yeah, that, to... that would be a lot of gradient. That would be like. You got this. You got this. Thank you, man. It's a beautiful color palette. It is beautiful color palette. You have got the color palette right there, man. Mad. Is that it? Let's do it. I think so, yeah. There we go. Well, thanks for coming down, man. Thanks for having me. Oh, we, do, we, go, we went oh. from a fist bump into like a handshake oh, sort of thing. <laughs> smooth. Mad. Smooth. Smooth. Sweet. That's Peace gonna, out. That's going to wrap up this episode. See, See you guys later. <laughs> Just have them as they are. Right, cheers, James. Right, cheers. Kind of cheers. Cheers. Oh, touch Corona. Social distancing. Oh, Corona. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, hello. 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 Barbecue tastes that nice. Wait till no. you get. Give it about three seconds, bro. Oh. Ooh. Oh. I feel like I'm coming up. I'm <laughs> coming up. That's the best way to explain it. <sighs> Oh, my days.